Hi everyone, just wanted to take a minute here and describe a pretty simple thing. I've had a lot of customers who are like, hey, it only has nine button inputs, how can I add a couple extra? And of course, I've got my button expansion board that can be used, um, but as an alternative to that, if you don't want to spend $20 or you don't want like another board to mount somewhere in your table, you could actually just use these pins, uh, these pins here to connect additional buttons. So really, all 24 buttons are exposed on these pins, along with the uh, low-level outputs as well. So you can use those outputs to trigger things too if you wanted to. And one really simple way to do it is I have these JST terminals. So in this case, I can connect. Now obviously for the expansion board, you can see it's labeled. You can't, probably can't see it in the video, but it's labeled right here, ground. Five, and these are shared across the two. So those two terminals are ground terminals. So I can plug this into those two just like that. And then on um, these outputs here, uh, these last two are actually two button inputs. So I can connect this guy to those two button inputs. And now I've got two button inputs and two ground inputs. And actually the ground technically, uh, you can jump right that ground between as many buttons as you want. So you could connect even more button inputs to this pretty easily. Uh, but I just use those two grounds just because it's an easy way to do it. And now I can connect, you know, first button, I just plug that in here, and then either one of the ground inputs onto this side. And now I've got another button here, and then one more if I want an additional button, I can do that as well. Just plug it in, and plug it in right here. And now I have two additional button inputs, and I don't know if you can see the laptop display there, but now when I push these I get 22 and 23 turning on so yeah so really easy way get a couple extra buttons or really I mean if you wanted you could 10 15 20 more buttons on there if you wanted to but easy way to do it uh, and just one other thing to mention if you wanted to I'll unplug these guys real quick you can even light your buttons up uh, because you also have a 5 volt and ground connection shorting anything out there you have a 5 volt and ground connection on these two last pins here so I'll make sure my red is my 5 volt and I'll plug it in. I'll actually do the button first uh, again so I don't short anything out so my red my minus here's my minus go into the and then I read my 5 volt and so now if I plug this in with the 5 volt is the one on the top there and then the ground on the bottom Like that, I can have lighted buttons too, and those will be powered by the USB. So, oops, disconnecting there. Yeah, but so another way, if you just want like constantly lit buttons, you can go ahead and use the five volt, and then again, you can jumper that across all the buttons if you'd like to, to share that across. So. All right, hope you found that interesting and useful, and until next time, see you guys all later.